Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. As you can see, I look a little crazy and that's because I'm gonna be showing you guys the difference in Instagram makeup versus more like real life makeup. Now there's definitely no boundaries to makeup. There's no right way to do makeup or wrong way to do makeup. These are just more of like the trends that you would see on Instagram with the super intense highlight, the very carved out brow. And then this side is more of like what's more practical, what you would just wear, you know, when you have 15 minutes to get ready in the morning and that's it. I've seen this video going around YouTube and I definitely wanted to try it out for myself and to talk to you guys about the different methods because there's definitely reasons why you see a lot of these trends on Instagram because makeup does show through the camera very differently than it does in real life. So a lot of the times we have to tweak the makeup methods in order for it to come across well through camera. So that's why there are a lot of different trends in Instagram makeup that doesn't necessarily look as good in real life, you know? But anyways, I love both sides and how they turned out. So I really swing both ways on the makeup spectrum, you know? But let me know which one you lean more towards down below. Are you more of the real life kind of natural makeup look or do you love going super glam like me? But before we start the video, please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already because we are so close to 1 million subscribers and I can't wait to get there. I would love your guys' help. So make sure you share my video, tell your friends about me and get them to join the S Club because we're so close to hitting that milestone. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. But wait, before we start, I wanna give you guys a little surprise. Ta-da! He's gonna be sitting on my lap this entire video. He is so good. We actually did decide on a name. His name is Prince. So thank you guys for all your suggestions down below. Add my Snapchat if you wanna know more about what's going on with Prince and Wolfie Jr. and how they're kind of interacting together because I do update you guys on that. And yeah, that's it. Let's get on with the video. So I'm gonna do the right side of my face, the Instagram side. So the very glam, dramatic makeup look. And then on the left side will be the day-to-day -day wear, kind of everyday makeup look that I like to do. For the Instagram side, I'm gonna be using Benefits Pore Professional. It's a little bit of a thicker primer. This is a great primer for Instagram photos because it's gonna fill in all those large pores. Then in those close-up makeup pictures, they're not as noticeable. So I'm just gonna apply this in all the areas where I have large pores on the right side of my face. And for the everyday side, I'm gonna be using something that's a little bit more lightweight. It's the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And this one is nice for everyday wear because it's more hydrating, it's luminous. So your foundation's still gonna look like your regular skin over top of the primer. It's just not as thick and as heavy as the Pore Professional that we used. So I don't know if you guys can tell already, but this side is a lot more luminous. It's got a little bit of that natural shine to it, whereas this side is completely matte. But the pores, if you look close up, are filled in and a lot smoother than they were before. Now for foundation for the Instagram side, I'm gonna go in with Double Wear Estee Lauder Foundation. This stuff will stay in place. It is very full coverage. You're not gonna see any imperfections underneath. I love this foundation for full coverage and especially in photos, it does make your skin look very, very smooth and flawless just because of how full coverage it is. And I'm gonna apply that using the Beauty Blender because this does give you a very airbrushed finish. It helps to press the foundation into your skin, which is very, very important when you're taking up close makeup pictures on Instagram. And then I'm also just applying a little bit more on all of the problem areas of my skin to really make sure that they're covered really well. For foundation for the more everyday side makeup look, I'm gonna be using Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. So just like the primer, it is something a little bit more lightweight and a little bit more skin-like because if you're out there in natural daylight every day, you don't want your foundation to you know, look caked on, sitting on top of your skin. You want it to kind of work with your skin while still covering up those imperfections. And to blend that in, I'm gonna be using my big Tarte foundation brush. Something this big is really great. When you're running out the door, you only have a few minutes to do your makeup. It's very, very big, and you can see it just blends really, really easily with no time at all. So I would personally reach for something like that if I'm in a hurry, and it's more of just like a need something quick on my face before I head out the door type of thing. So it took like a total of 10 seconds to blend that in my skin completely, and you can definitely see the difference in coverage between the two. Here, you can't really tell where my imperfections are there's no redness at all here they still kind of show through a little bit because it is a very lightweight natural finish foundation moving on to our eyes I'm gonna save the rest of the face for later I'm gonna be using an under eye color corrector this is the under eye brightening corrector from Becca because in pictures you really want your under eye to look very very flawless you don't want to look like you have bags in any way. Sorry if I'm seeming really like low on energy this video. I've been feeling really under the weather lately. My snap fam knows. I'm actually like sweating so much filming this video, but we can do it. Now moving on to concealer for the Instagram side, I'm gonna be using something very full coverage and something that's a few shades lighter than my foundation color because we wanna give our face that dimension and that highlighted brightened under eye look that you often see in Instagram photos. And I'm gonna use a lot of that to make it look a little bit more dramatic than you normally would for it to actually show through and not look washed out in the camera. Again, and I'll just blend that in with my beauty blender. For the everyday side, I'm gonna stick to our theme of luminous and hydrating products, and I'm gonna use the Born This Way concealer in a color that's very similar to my foundation color. I probably actually used a little bit too much product on this side, but it's just a bad habit. I'm gonna blend that using my beauty blender as well, because I usually do that normally anyway. 
On the Instagram side, I'm also gonna use that concealer in all the other places I would normally highlight. Center of the forehead, bridge of the nose, cupid's bow, and a little on the chin. Now I'm gonna set my face for the Instagram makeup. I'm gonna set my face with something very full coverage. This is the Studio Fix Powder from MAC. It's a full coverage foundation powder. So putting this on top of a ready full coverage foundation is really gonna take your skin to the next level of looking super smooth, super flawless in photos. Now we're piling products on top of each other. We're covering up the skin completely. And I'm gonna set my under eye with the same product, but this one's just the same color as the concealer that I use. So it's much lighter than my foundation and that's gonna help to brighten the under eye and also set our concealer. We're gonna move on to the everyday makeup and I'm gonna set that with a lightweight powder this is the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just gonna lightly dust that I just want it to do a good enough job where it's gonna set it in place without taking away all that natural shine to it I'm gonna contour using a liquid first on the Instagram side it'll just make it show up a lot better than if you were to only use a powder to contour the everyday side, I'm just gonna use a light powder. This is Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil in light medium, just to give our face a little bit of color, but not anything too dramatic. Moving back to the Instagram side, I'm gonna go over that contour again with a powder, just to intensify a little bit more. We're gonna use a little bit of a heavier hand on this side. We really want to show through on photos. Apply that in the perimeter of our forehead, jawline, and I'm gonna use a little bit of that contour my nose. Nose contouring in real life, you can almost always tell in natural sunlight, so it really is meant to be just for pictures. Moving on to blush for the Instagram side, you wanna use something that's gonna show up in photos, something that's gonna give your face a lot more color. So I'm gonna be using Becca's Flower Child Blush. That's quite bright, but in photos it's gonna look gorgeous. Now for more of a real life look, I'm gonna go in with Wild Honey from Becca. It's just gonna give your face some warmth and a little bit of color. And this is just a beautiful everyday blush. It looks gorgeous in the sunlight. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it. I'm gonna finish off the face with some highlight because no Instagram makeup look is finished without a highlight. So on the Instagram side, we're gonna use Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. A highlight looks especially gorgeous when it's reflecting off the flash of the camera, and it just makes your cheekbones that much more poppin'. On Instagram, you see the nose being highlighted like crazy. It does help to make your features look more straight, more aligned, bring them out a little bit. So that's why I feel like it's so popular, especially for Instagram. In real life, it's a little bit of a different story. You don't want to be able to see the huge chunks of glitter that you have on your face. This is called Shell from MAC, and it's just a cream highlight to give your skin that natural luminous look instead of using something like a powder, which is gonna be a lot more noticeable in natural sunlight. Moving on to brows, I'm gonna use a pomade for the Instagram side. Everybody knows the Instagram brow is very, very sharp, a very dramatic brow. So I'm gonna focus a lot of the product just on the outer part of my brow, really fill it in, and then whatever is remaining on my brush, I'm gonna bring it to the front, and that's gonna give us that gradient effect that you see in eyebrows for Instagram. I'm also gonna set the eyebrow hairs into place. We want them to be extremely defined and set down perfectly with not one brow hair straying away. I'm gonna be using just a pencil just to fill in any of the sparse areas in my brows, and I'm just gonna define my shape just a little bit more. And I'm gonna use a very light hand with just little feathering strokes and I'm gonna brush that out so there's no harsh lines. For both sides I'm just gonna prime my lids with Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. This is a more full coverage primer but I usually use it every day anyway. I'm just gonna put this on both lids. Only for the Instagram side I'm gonna use it to carve out my brow. So first I'm gonna do the Instagram side. I'm gonna use White Peach as the brow highlight and the inner corner highlight. This is gonna make the brow bone pop in pictures and also give you a more flawless blend. For the transition shade, I'm gonna be using this color right here. It's called Puri. To deepen up the crease for the Instagram side, I'm gonna go in with Delectable, this purpley plum shade right there. And then I'm gonna use the shade Georgia for all over the lid on the Instagram side. I want the eyeshadow to come across exactly how it looks in the pan through the camera. So to do that, you really wanna make sure that you're packing on the shadows and not sweeping them away. Now I'm gonna use this black shade called Tempting from the palette just to darken up that outer corner even more and give the eye some more dimension. And of course we're gonna apply the classic wing eyeliner on the Instagram makeup look side because it's pretty common to see in Instagram. 
and I'm just gonna smoke out the bottom lash line just to balance out the smokiness that we have on top. So that's it for shadows on the Instagram side. Moving on to the real life side, I'm gonna go with a really light, very soft look using this pink shade right here. It's called Georgia, and that's gonna go right on my crease. This is just gonna give our lid some color without being too dramatic. And then I'm just gonna use one more shadow. It's this peaches and cream champagne color right here. And I'm gonna apply that with my finger all over the lid, just dabbing it on. And that's really all I'm gonna do for shadows on that side, very quick and simple. Moving on to mascara, it's probably the same for both sides, so I'm just gonna go in with Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. You know that I'm obsessed with this mascara. So that's all I'm gonna do for the real life side, but I am gonna throw on some lashes for the Instagram side. That's all there is to it for the difference in the eyes. My eye does look a lot bigger on the Instagram side because all of the dramatic eyeshadows are kind of smoked outwards, so it does give my eye the illusion of being bigger. Let's move on to the lips. On the Instagram side, I'm gonna go with the classic liquid lipstick. I'm also gonna make sure to overline my lip for the Instagram side just because that is usually the case. And on the everyday real life side, I'm gonna go in with a very natural peachy toned lip gloss. It's called Peach Side from Too Faced. So this is the finished look. We have the Instagram side here on the right and of course the more everyday real life makeup look on the left. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below which side you prefer. I personally like both sides. You know, it just depends on the occasion. I love getting super glam like the Instagram side, but I also love the more real life everyday look if I'm just running errands, whatever it may be. You can see there is a huge difference, especially I think the eyebrows make a huge difference. Now this is the end of the video. So if you haven't seen my last upload, go ahead and click that box right down below and subscribe to my channel in this corner over here just click my face and you'll be subscribed and of course leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it and I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye